competition taught to us since we were probably in kindergarten or first or second standard in school that it's a competition you have to win and then we were not talking about sports at that time we were talking whether it was marks whether it was anything to do in life comparison with each other and saying this is competition and i have to come first i have to be better than the rest and then this went on in every sphere in life and then it was not only at workplace it also started happening between friends it started happening between brothers and it started happening between sisters it, we've even seen competition happening between a mother and a daughter and all that, especially yes. mother and a daughter in law yes yes oh yes definitely <laughs> so there is so much of this word that has come out everywhere in our vocabulary and because it's come in our belief system that's why the belief system is so critical one belief system which is not true can give rise to so much stress in life that it's a competition so we fitted that belief system in the subconscious and now every thought that will arise whether at work whether at home whether in the social circle even in social service mm -hmm. where the intention is seva it's service even then it's a competition because once it's fed in the subconscious now it doesn't matter in which aspect of your life you are the That's thoughts sad. will arise only from that belief system so yeah. it just started happening everywhere in terms of the way we look what we possess what we achieve how much we've earned even how much we are spending everything came under the category of competition and one of the major reasons of stress in life today is that life is a competition stress even for a school child is only this one line that it's a competition and stress of course in every other aspect of life let's explore another belief system there is no competition at all there is no Imagine competition you mean to say no checking okay check let's see if yeah. there is no competition yeah. okay not if there is no competition there is no competition okay the, the, now let's say that it's not it's like that, mathematics no no it's not that if there is no competition then this will happen we're not doing that we're just saying you're trying to prove no, that there is no competition we're trying to check can this work and is this true there is no competition we are not competing with absolutely anybody let's take the same example that you shared with us that you are constructing your house and your neighbor has started creating emotions of jealousy comparison because it's a competition and he has to be better than you says who we says don't he. know <laughs> yeah says he he and even rang up the principality and st stopped my work he says he's do uh, doing the construction without permission he went to all the extent to stop my work yes but you know sitting here we might say he's wrong how can he do something like this this is totally wrong for him to have done that but actually it's not wrong anyone who is experiencing that immense amount of jealousy is going to behave like this we need to accept that yeah competition and jealousy yeah. auto auto you know that will go hand in hand but that jealousy has become so overpowering that any amount of logic any amount of values and principles ethics everything has been left aside and he's ready to do anything and now we need to check our life and see how many times we're ready to compromise on anything just because we have to go ahead of the other person any amount of backbiting office politics even using unethical means in flourishing our own business or whatever we are doing is only because of one belief system it's a competition because jealousy will overpower everything else and now another belief system not necessary the truth but a belief system the interesting part with belief system is we don't need to make it the truth initially use it as a belief system explore experiment see the result life is a competition we have been exploring for years and we are seeing the result what happens to us what happens to the whole family and long term outcomes now another belief system there is no competition each one is on their own journey 
your house you are constructing how much money you want to spend on it your choice you are going to live in it your journey neighbor his house how much he wants to spend on it not necessary in proportion to how much he earns but how much he wants to spend on it his choice he has to live in it where exactly is the competition in this competition will only be when it's some kind of a race and one person is going to win and everybody else is going to lose if it's a tennis match <laughs> so where is the competition every even if this is of course very simple just constructing a house but even if it's in the corporate sector even if it is two business houses even if it is school children studying in class where is the competition it is possible for every child to come first in class no school or no teacher has said only one person will come first so where is the competition competition is only there when one person comes first and everybody else will come second third fourth fifth then it's competition now take two business houses everybody comes first how can right suppose let's say the marks to come first are 95% let's say mm. okay so the highest marks in the class are 95% mm. if there have been many times in school if, if 10 people, people get yeah okay so 10 people get so if 10 people get 95 10 people come first and for the rest of the 20 if there are 30 in the class so they will whatever marks they will get they will get the rank so there is a competition 10 plus versus 20 but all 30 can also get 95 not necessarily it depends on the mind thinking it depends on the mind but if they want situation. if they want all can get 95 let's say we are two people in a class is my performance dependent on you no my performance is in depending my on myself hands, myself yeah, right yeah. so you're working very hard and you're getting 95 i'll do my part and if i get 95 i'll also come first where's the competition there's no competition we two people on an individual journey so it's each one's own capacity intelligence hard work and value system four things if my capacity is lesser than yours doesn't it create competition why is the competition okay it creates jealousy your cup yeah fine we are, we are fine with jealousy because then we'll know how to handle jealousy but at least we'll have to finish one belief system no that there is no competition then we'll go to the second part which is there's no competition but i'm jealous of them okay then we'll see how to handle my jealousy but when we say it's a competition then we take jealousy as natural but when we understand there's no competition then jealousy is only a choice and because it's creating so many problems for me i can work on it and finish it gradually but every part two business houses two people in a company two sisters two brothers everything each one on their journey and each one's capacity is going to be different let each one just focus on their part and put in more than their best why put in their best put in more than their best and they will get the best results in proportion to their input so as will be the input so will be the output where is the relative factor coming in competition would only be this is my input and my output is also dependent on the other person's output but actually it's not nowhere nowhere is my result dependent on another person's result it's only dependent on mine so the equation is very clear as will be the input proportionate will be the output input can vary for different people somebody's situations could be favorable somebody's health could be favorable someone else's health could not be favorable financial conditions could be different somebody could have lot of money to invest in what they want to do somebody has nothing taking loans and starting factors are different but they're all the input factors and most important the effort the sincerity and the value system but all that we are doing is our input along with all our situational factors all our family conditions my personal emotional and physical conditions these are all my inputs it has nothing to do with any body else around me
So where is the competition? There is no competition. Now two people, five people, ten people, whatever, with different, different parameters, each one's parameters will be different, put in their input and accordingly they will get their output. Now what happened, because we said, irrespective of what is my input, I want my output to be more than this person. I was not considering the fact that his input factors were different from me, probably more favorable right now. But I want the same output because I thought it's a competition. Or even better. Or even better, yeah, obviously. So then I started playing around with my input factors and which meant unethical practices, not only unethical practices on my input. You're trying to spoil the other person. Yes. Unethical practices to the extent of spoiling the other like person. Like you went to the uh, municipality and said that yes. this house doesn't belong to him. Yes. And, and we can see this everywhere. In a family, we can see how people will just keep backbiting behind somebody, criticizing, spread different things about them. Offices, of course, is another game altogether, the environment. So we are trying to work on our input factors and also trying to challenge the input factors of other people around us only so that my output is higher than everybody else. Now, while doing all this, there is a very dominant input factor which is automatically being worked on, which I'm not aware of and which is my state of mind and even deeper than that, my karma, which is getting created. Because I, what happens is by doing all these manipulations, it is possible that my output turns out to be better than everybody else is around. And I feel that's it. That's what I wanted. And that has happened. I am number one. But? But there's another very, very important factor which is getting affected, which we're not aware right now. And even if somebody says it to us or it's there in our subconscious, we say, it's okay. You know what they say? Mm -hmm. All is fair in love and war. Yeah, all is fair. If we are going to work like that, we need to just remember, as is the input, so will be the result. One, in the business terms, mm. in the terms of relationships, as will be the energy which goes out input, so will be the energy that comes back. Similarly, in the field of karma, as will be the energy that goes out, so will be my destiny which will get created.